is creepy. What's up guys? Welcome to another episode of Urban Ghost Urban Exploration. Now Rob and I just took a long ride. It's about three and a half hours from our house. Behind me here is a bridge. It's called the Hillman, uh, Hillman Bridge. And uh, we're spending the night here and uh, we're in a place called Live Oak, Florida. And uh, this is one creepy bridge. Now there's not much like urban legend to this place or anything that we've read about other than it's super creepy, but we did find something on the way here. Now, apparently there's like an abandoned, um, like old gas station around here. Is it a gas station? It's a general store. General store. General store around here. And the deal is, is that this is the area where they found one of Ted Bundy's victims real close to here at this general store. Don't know if the general store is still there. We're going to see if we can find it. Like I said, we're here for the night. So what we're going to do tonight is Rob and I are going to film this. Then we're going to go back to the hotel. Then I'm going to come here for an alone challenge. Then go back to the hotel. Then Rob's going to come here for an alone challenge. Depending on, on how this goes right now. Uh, it's a little after midnight. So by the time we get our alone challenges rolling, it's probably going to be in the wee hours of the morning. I am very, very excited, and at the same time, can't help to be a little uh, creeped out here. Anyway, you guys are coming with. Let's do this. This place is absolutely amazing looking as far as scary goes, as you can see. It's been abandoned since 1983, is what we're told. And it, it leads to beyond here. A whole abandoned town that I don't think we can get to because it's now kind of like a historical landmark and uh, <laughs> when Rob and I were doing our intros you could hear so many things in the woods like animals and howling and oh man this is definitely Definitely creepier than Goatman's Bridge as far as the way it looks. What in the hell is that? What is that, bro? I don't know. I've never heard anything like that before, I guess. It almost sounded like a human being screaming, but I think it was some kind of animal. Now, depending on how well this goes, like I said, we're going to come back and do alone challenges tonight where we take turns coming here. <laughs> Oh man, this is uh, this is this has got Goatman's Bridge beat by a lot. Man, it's really creepy on this bridge. It's so dark out. There's no moonlight. Yeah, I'm trying to look at the water. I can't. The water's so far down. I can't even get the light to reflect. Did you hear that? I do. Now, there's no urban legends that we know about this place. We read online that people have been known here to come and practice like rituals and um, again, I don't know the validity of that. Uh, I do know that this is part of an abandoned town. And it's actually quite a big bridge, actually. <laughs> I didn't realize how big this was. I thought it was going to be small. Look at this. Yeah. It's pretty, uh, pretty big. This is a major highway bridge. This yeah. shut down because a tractor trailer ran into it. Surprisingly, not a ton of graffiti on it in comparison to Lloyd Goldman. Not a ton of I know, 
as I was saying, this was part of it, like, uh, leads to an abandoned town. Uh, the general store that supposedly was a hideout for Ted Bundy, and they found one of his victims here. Look, there's another lock on this bridge. Two of them. Ooh. What was that? Did you hear that? Was Did you just go like... So, maybe we won't come back for loan challenges, huh? I don't know, man. This is, this just seems like, you know, it's, first of all, guys, let me paint a picture for you. It's in the middle of nowhere. And, it's every bit creepy as it looks. Oh, Rob's got the lantern right over there sitting in the ground. We could do the lantern and maybe the necrophonic app here. Watch, it's going to tell us something on the necrophonic app like, You will not make it home. <laughs> Definitely a lot of graffiti here. Yeah. What was that, man? I don't know, man. That was loud. Uh, bang. Yeah, that was a loud bang. Okay. Well, we're still going to cross this bridge. And... I think this is awesome. Alright, so here's the problem, Rob, on the other side of this bridge. It leads to the woods. Mm hmm. What is that bang? Okay. So we were reading. Um, on the way here, the, well, this guy came back here, and uh, it was funny, he did a video on this place, and he pulled up in his car by himself, and it was nighttime, and he goes, oh, no thanks, <laughs> he just left, and now I can see why. So straight ahead of me is just woods. hearing all kinds of oh wow Rob this bridge actually continues a little bit into the woods here my friend I don't know we'll check it out all right so this one's a little bit higher than Goatman's bridge it's definitely got a lot of woods got cockroaches on the bridge. How does it have cockroaches on the bridge? Exactly. I'm hearing all kinds of junk around me, man. The nice thing about doing the bridge, though, is we're not in a moldy building. Yeah. I have to keep looking behind me because I think I keep hearing footsteps behind us. Please don't let that be footsteps that I just heard. Hey, where's the uh, where's the lantern in uh, down there? Yeah, it's in the middle of the bridge. Okay. You're gonna just leave it there for now. Yeah. I'm gonna have to keep it.
Uh, we're pretty deep in here now, my friend. Hey, 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 hey. Something just moved over there. Be very careful. Could be a big animal. I don't know what it was. I'm surprised you didn't hear that. The whole branch just moved as well, like down there a little bit. Hey. There's a car down there, bro. I think so. I think there's a, a truck. Yo, there's a truck down there. There's a white pickup truck. I think. Maybe that's what that person was talking about, maybe? Yeah. Uh -huh. Well, if somebody's here, there's nobody on this bridge, clearly. <sighs> so... Yo, what is up with that? I didn't even know there was another side you can get to. Yeah. Yeah, I don't like this very much. This is crazy because a car really can't pass this and there's a truck at the end of this road. I think there was another way to get there. Yeah. I'm in my boots too. And uh, we might be running in a minute, so let's go with extreme caution. You see it? The truck, right? Let me see. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's somebody's property. Is it? I'm confused beyond belief. Let's not go near it. Hey, guys, said there was a trailer park. Maybe that's it. I don't know. It doesn't look like it, though. I don't know how you get over there. Yeah. Alright, so there's like a like a couple of vehicles down there and I don't think we're gonna go down there because I think what's on the other side of these woods is somebody's property. Oh there's a cemetery right there. Is, is that a cemetery? Oh it's like a, it's a part of the park. Those are All right. I don't know, those are like benches. Something tells me we should get away from these trucks. Come on. Yeah. So here's the weird thing. At the end of the street, it literally, I mean guys, it literally just has like some like barricades up. But on the other side of barricades are trucks. And uh, so we're going to go this way. Because that could be somebody's property. I don't know. We're not familiar with the area. So we don't want to venture where we shouldn't. Or have a bunch of like pit bulls come running out or something. <laughs> is there? Oh, is it a, is it a deer? What is that? Oh wait, hold on. Let me hit this light on it. Oh, that's a wolf or a coyote. Not a wolf, a coyote. I say we go back to where the um, lantern is. Let's do the necrophonic app. This is going to be one spooky trip by myself, man. Could you imagine like if your house backed up to this? Right. Yeah. 
doesn't make you feel that great. What was that? I'm laughing because I'm nervous. There's eyes looking at us. That's what that is. There's some kind of animal down there, bro. Let's keep going. Yeah. Look, it says Jody on the wall. You know what I'm thinking about? The hotel's like a good 25 minutes from here, man. So when we're here alone, it's gonna really be like nerve wracking. It's not like the hotel's five minutes up the street, man, and we could just like, <laughs> hey Rob, get here real quick. You know, take an Uber, do whatever you got to, get me, give me some help. Shut up. What was that? Bro, what was that? That was down there. That was loud. I thought I just heard somebody talking. All right, we we got the uh, lantern. I'm telling you, man, I think we're going to pick stuff up on this bridge. It just, like, feels like this place is just not, not right. Like, we're not here alone. Like, it feels like there's spirit activity on this bridge. Um, yeah, I heard that again. Did you hear that just now? Yeah, I definitely heard something. Right. Alright, so we got the lantern. Again, this is our Olight lantern. It has the um, candle in it. So, dark. yeah, let's go dark here and just do the necrophonic and the candlelight. Ooh, man. This is going to be pretty, uh, pretty intense, brother. Because, again, look where we are. Yikes. Yeah. All right, so I'm gonna shut this off. Oh, I know, dude. We are nuts. All right, I'm gonna sit down too. Did you just hear something going? Hey. All 
Alright, so not only do we have this candlelight, but we have this Olight. We are on the bridge, and let me tell you guys, look, I'm just going to turn this on for a second just to show you. It's so dark here. It's insane. And uh, this is the only light we have now. And we're going to try the Necrophonic app here. Any spirits want to communicate with us on this bridge, please do so through the Necrophonic app. Alright, you ready for this, Rob? Alright, if there's anything here, please do communicate with us. I heard Joey, Joey, Joey a bunch of times. Uh, is there any hauntings on this bridge? I think it's a person, something himself. And I heard my name a bunch of times. Can you tell us anything about this place? There was a, an infamous person. Who was it? <laughs> Should we move on? It's quiet now. Yeah. Yeah. I, I don't want to freak you out, but I'm going to turn this light on. I thought I saw a shadow behind you. I think it just said, Joe, your mommy's here. I'm going to set this one more time. Are there rituals that are performed here? What did it say? It said Bundy. It said Bundy? Yeah. Oh, it just said... It said Bundy, and this is... Ted Bundy's old stomping grounds, and they found one of his victims here. Or from the outside of the park. Is there anything else you want to tell me before I say goodbye? It said leave. Can you tell me my name and, and, and the other person who's here with me tonight, our names? Joe and Rob. Alright, good night. What was that? I don't know. No, that was a. There was something in the woods, but there was a voice right behind us. I just heard the crash. Ooh, that freaked me out. Okay, all right, let me, uh...
Let me get my phone. There was a bang, but there was also some, something like a raspy voice. You hear that too down there, right? So right down there we keep hearing something. When we were doing the necrophonic app there was a bang but there was also a voice over here. Like I thought somebody was coming walking up, like that kind of voice. <laughs> There's another lock over here, and it says on it, it says you. See, it's so vast down there, even shining this light, guys, look, you can't even really see down there. This, like, vast darkness. I kind of like the eeriness of the darkness and just the flame. Come to us. We command you, whatever's here. Look like a bat. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It yeah, it's a bat. Bats don't come to us. We command you to stay away. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, man. This is creepy. I wonder if we picked anything up here. I thought we may have. About coming back by ourselves. This is, you know how, you know how creepy that's gonna be. Yeah. Could you imagine, like, even out here, if you needed to call for help, nobody's coming, my friend. Nobody. I mean, I really, it's aside from that screaming when we walked up or whatever that was, uh, I only heard one voice, but it, you know what, I, I feel that this is like a haunted place to me. I really feel that. Like, I feel like something here doesn't want us here. But again, it's a creepy place. Oh look, here's my name. Can you say my name? So there's two things with doing a video like this. One is it haunted. Um, I can't say. Does it feel haunted? Absolutely, it feels haunted. 
is this um, a place that I'd feel comfortable coming doing a 30 minute alone challenge? Absolutely not. And that means we're going to come here and do it because I like to be out of my comfort zone. Now, until we play this video back, I mean, you know, in a place like this, your mind could play tricks on you so easily, right? You could think you hear something or you think you see something. I mean, there's so many things about it. Um, the thing about coming here alone or even coming here with somebody it's a risk you take because you really never know who you may run into in a place like this I mean when we do these journeys looking for like ghost hunting places and scary places the biggest challenge that we always have is our own selves coming to a place like this you know yeah. it's the biggest challenge it's not the ghosts really it's coming to a place. Whew. All right, so the camera hit 30 minutes and uh, I don't know where it ended, so. Anyway, I was saying, is this place haunted? I don't know, is this place creepy? Absolutely, it's creepy. Um, it's kind of interesting that it said some things on the spirit box, but until we play it back, we're not really sure, but um, that seemed to uh, go along with the stories of this place. So anyway, um, we're gonna come back tonight. Like I said, we have a hotel up the street. Well, about 25 minutes away and uh, We're gonna take turns coming tonight and doing alone challenges Yikes anyway guys, please check out our merchandise below at ugue.brothers.com. Love you guys so much and uh, we're gonna go back now cuz it's gonna take us all night to do these <laughs> alone challenges Love you guys. Peace For the record, I'm done trying to make y'all comfortable Try to grow them stuff for you. For the record, lab on me going all the way. For the record, ain't trying to link no time to waste. For the record, 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 for the record. For the record. Been a little too nice to y'all. Now I gotta up price for y'all. Snake eyes on dice for y'all. Shoulders on ice for y'all. Frozen. A6 all the hay. I won't get involved today. Got lost in the ball of days. I'm flipping the bars. I'm flipping the flipping the flipping the all record off record. I still count wins when they got it. On record off record. I let them take advantage. I was wildin' on record off record deals. Tell them talk to Colin for the quote. On record off record. I still want the act, not the ghost. Running through it with the young and bloomers. Had a less impression. So so coming to it, I've been giving yeses when I shouldn't do it I complete ejected, but the moves are looser And I'm barely moving, but I'm still gon' boost them I can work on winners when I know you're losing So I work the winners and they throw the deuces Guess I have to pivot, shooting the bazookas for the facts I need racks, paper cash, fuck a tax, that's a joke